Hi guys and welcome back to Football Manager 2017 as Real Madrid. Just barely catching my breath after that last episode, uh, figuratively speaking of course. We played Manchester United where a late equaliser put us through on away goals to the semi-final of the Champions League. We then drew Manchester City. So we are play we've got another trip to Manchester uh, coming up. But before that we're hosting Huesca in the league here trying to uh, wrap up the title we could wrap up the title today if Barcelona failed to win at Malaga so let's do our part shall we here's just Vallejo coming back in uh, Lloris yeah we'll give Lloris a little look at the first team Kilo Navas out of it uh, Man City won't Kilo Navas that's kind of funny uh, anybody else Rigani can come in for Varane uh, but other than that, we will be playing with our strongest side. So, Loris Danilo, because uh, Carvajal is suspended. Rugani Vallejo, Jetro Williams, Kroos, Kovacic, Bale, Isco, Ronaldo and Morata. Not really the time to rotate now at the end of the season. It's the, you know, the business end of the season. Maybe the last couple of league games will rotate. But it is important to get momentum going into the Spanish Cup final. And, of course, the Champions League final, should we receive the honour of being in our third straight uh, let's just forget we lost the other two <laughs> Tony Kroos to deliver the corner and it comes headed away by Borja Fernandez. Isco should find Kroos again Isco does find Kroos again can he put one in left foot angles it to Jethro Williams actually who's a bit of space can run it as man can he whip it forced wide whips it and Morata puts it in that is what Alvaro Morata does 44 goals for the season for Morata Certainly benefited from Origi's long injury. Uh, Rugani cushions it to Kroos, who finds Isco now, who has been moaning a little bit about first-team football. Uh, Kovacic racing forward, scoops it out wide to Danilo. Danilo out wide, can he angle it in? No, he goes back to Kroos. Kroos should get his head up for a shot. No, he finds Morata, who finds Bale, who angles it into the far corner. 2-0 after six minutes, <coughs> and that is pretty much us. Uh, wrapped up the points after only six minutes today you would expect us to boss this game against a side that are almost certainly going down uh, Barcelona will know that they need a win they need to win every single game left and hope that we lose uh, every single game left actually I think they're going to run out of games uh, if we don't <coughs> with three games left the gap will be nine, so yeah, we need to lose every game. If we get one more point after this, uh, then we'll win the title. Uh, we d it should be said that our last game is at the new Camp, so we definitely can't rely on picking up anything in that game. So it has to be sewn up by then, but it should be. We're really overthinking it if we think we've got to... We've got to be desperate about getting a point in any of those games. We should just go out and play our game. Oh, Bale, lovely touch into the box. Down he goes. Hermoso bringing him down. Penalty kick given. Up will step uh, Chabi Alonso, I think, actually. Is it going to be Alonso that steps up? No, oh, it's Morata. And Morata scores. Hell, Alonso's not even playing. I don't know why I thought it was Alonso. 45 for the season for Morata. He should get to 50 now, I hope. Danilo to Kroos. Back to Danilo. Come on, get him his hat-trick today. Isco. Danilo. Looking for an angle. Coming inside with the ball. Pings it to Piaka. Looking for Williams. He's going to go himself here, Piaka. Will he square it? And he goes out to Williams. Better angle for it. In towards Bale. And then it goes for four. And six minutes of the second half, we have scored two goals, just as we did in the first. Comfortable, as you would expect today. A really, really weak side coming to Madrid. We do expect to be beating them. Uh, the question now remains, what formation do we play against Manchester City? My instinct is to play this, 4-2-3-1, as that has been our most used formation over the seasons. 
but I don't really know if I'm being 100% honest about it. Uh, Manata's going to come off now. He's on a hat trick, but Origi needs some minutes. Uh, I don't know. It's difficult to decide. I think we play this tactic depending on personnel and who's fit. If everyone's fit, we play the 4 2 3 1. And we trust our players to be good enough to beat City. Sensio cuts it back. Piaka, one touch, shot, good save by the goalkeeper. Yeah, we have to trust our players to be good enough to beat Manchester City. Cross's delivery should be headed away. Yeah. A 4 0 victory today. Laying down the marker. If Malaga get anything at home to Barcelona, we are crown champions on the back of this performance, which would be pretty nice. It's been a good, competent performance. And regardless of opposition, you can only beat what's put in front of you, as they say. Uh, Kovacic pinching it back. And that'll be that. 4 nothing. Very nicely done, chaps, yeah. PSG still watching Barata, fine, whatever. Come on, Malaga. Give me the title. Well, considering I just unlocked the domination achievement, I am assuming Malaga took something. Yeah, I think Malaga took a draw looking at league table down there. Let's have a look. 1-1 one, one Barcelona draw at Malaga. And this will go down as the the episode where we win the title. Uh, Marata with 29, fighting it out with Suarez, who also has 29 for the top goal scorer. But that's... Uh, a double? What's the double? What did we win? Something stupid, probably. Uh, um, yeah, I'm in the Hall of Fame for managers, whatever. Consecutive wins, pleasing the board. Hierro praises, praises my spirit. Uh, da, 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 da. Campaign stepping up for Ronaldo to win play of the year. It's got to be Morata, maybe even Danny Carvajal. Uh, Ronaldo beginning to hmm, lose his training a little bit there, but he's still four and a half stars. <laughs> he's still insanely good. His contract runs another year after this, and I'll certainly be renewing that in the summer, if I can. Uh, what was I going to actually do there? Oh, I was going to see what else the hell we won. Probably the Super Cup or something. Yeah, the Spanish Super Cup hardly counts, if we're being honest. So we'll be playing the Villarreal game to see out this episode, but the question is, what kind of side do we play? Now that we have the title sewn up, there is the argument, the argument, that we play a rotational side. But there's also the fear that playing a rotational side kills the team's momentum. And we have Manchester City three days after Villarreal. Uh, I'm inclined to say we rotate partially. The last thing we need is someone coming out coming out with injury and missing that semi-final a couple of players are approaching retirement yeah that's fine or a player and a staff member fine 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 We have to beat City. We absolutely need to beat City. Okay. So we retained the title again. At least it's something. Want to make sure we keep keep doing that every year, and we have done it every year. It'd be nice if we could pick up the Spanish Cup as well this year. But I really want the Champions League. That's when we can call it a success. Wesker have been relegated, that is a shame. But unless we win the Champions League, it's just a par season. To get a successful season, we have to lift that trophy. Barca win 3 0 at Osasuna. So, in order to maintain the largest gap we can, we do have to beat Barcelona. Eh, but beat Barcelona. Beat, uh, well, we do have to beat them as well, but we have to beat Villarreal today. Do I rotate? No, no, no rotations. I'm going to. I'm going to come down on the side of we have to keep momentum and we have to keep that winning spirit. It'd also be good to get to 100 points. If I win the remaining three games, I should be able to make 100 points. 
which is a nice points tally by anybody's means. So, basically the idea here is get a couple of goals and then take some players off. Lloris catches Hazard's free kick. I was a little concerned that that was going to go in. Lloris now launching it towards Morata, backing into the defender, nods it down to Isco. Isco pings it forward for Bale, an easy header away, but Kroos will pick it up. Kroos, Danilo was on the move, good play from him. Whips it in, deflected, Kovacic, thunder, save, Ronaldo. one nothing already. Not even five minutes gone, 20 for the season for Ronaldo, he's slowing down a bit. <laughs> he was only out for a couple of months with injury, and he's only 34 years old. Uh, Danilo's header away, Isco somehow picks it up after two Villarreal players miss it, Morata coming forward. Playing it to Isco now. Isco forward to Bale. Cross. Oh, Danilo's overlap again. Drilled in. Morata finishes it. After six minutes, we're 2 0 up for the second game in a row. Morata at 46 goals now. Has to make 50. Surely. He only needs four more goals for 50. Okay, we're settled into the game a bit now. Danilo to Bale. Isco hits one in. Morata tees up Chetro Williams, but it's just wide of the post. Shame that didn't go down the other way. Excuse me. Even 2 nothing. I'm going to take off Ronaldo. And possibly Morata. And that's half time. Pleased with that. Ronaldo off for Piaka. Origi on for Morata. Excuse the squeaky chair. Yeah, pretty much a comfortable victory for us today, I think, if the second half goes as the first did. For Anne clearing that one. Villarreal have done an okay job of keeping the ball and all that, but really created nothing. Masakio to Juan Fran. Bruno now. Victor Ruiz forward. Soriano. Prigoros, Hazard, tons of space for him, forward for Bukambu, bit of a chance for them now, but Rugani pinches it back, lovely defending, Kroos hits it to Isco, now Bale, <sighs> giving away but Kroos will pick it up, Kovacic now over the top for Origi, great play holding his run, takes the appropriate amount of touches and slams it home for 3-0. 23 for the season for Divock Origi, having missed about 4 or 5 months I believe it was with injury. So he has also done exceptionally well despite an injury ravaged season and it would be quite fitting if we were to win the Champions League the season we were without Origi and Ronaldo for months. And as I've said before this season it would be great if we could give Xabi Alonso another Champions League trophy to go, to go out on. Uh, we'll bring on Gaia now for Jethro Williams and that'll be that. In terms of our changes, we should just see the game out now, hopefully get a nice clean sheet. Yep, looks like it and that's perfect with Manchester City coming to town next. So, I think all that's left to see is that this was a very good episode for us. Winning the title, sewing that up, getting two wins at home, both clean sheets, a total of 7 0, uh, with Manchester City coming to visit next. Barcelona cocking it up at Malaga, which means we get to play a classical game at the new camp, having already won the title. Which is exactly the scenario I was hoping for when the fixture list came out and put us there for the last game of the season. So let's look at our fixtures now, our schedule that we have left. We have Manchester City at home, away at Real Betis, away at Manchester City, neutral venue for the Copa del Rey final against Atletico, 
And then we go to the new Camp. Interestingly, I don't like the fact that the Spanish Cup Copa del Rey final is three days after the second leg against Manchester City. I'm not happy with that whatsoever. But what I am happy with is this episode and what we got done. So I hope you guys enjoyed it too, and I'll see you next time.